Hi, I'm Crystal and I'm at Canyonlands Quilts and there's a need in our community and we're trying to reach out to everyone that is willing to sew these masks for the first responders and the hospital. It's quite simple. Um, it doesn't take a lot, uh, but it is there is a need for it. And so we're going to go through a video to show how to do it. The first thing that is needed is two pieces of material that are about eight by 11 inches and another piece of the material that is four by six inches. Also a batting that is also eight by um, 11 inches and then two strips of elastic, quarter inch elastic that's 15 inches long. We are also gonna have patterns for you so that you can, they'll be digital, you can copy them um, and have them and they'll be on Facebook or um, our, website. Or what, or the website. So you can cut all three things together. So you've got your batting and then you've got right sides together your material. You can do that um, all together. To do okay. is you've got four different darts on there and so you need to um, mark your darts. I do it a very simple way. I just do it with thread and a needle. I'm gonna go in right there. I'm not too worried about it. Just gonna pull that thread, go to the very top. If I can get the needle through it. And then I'm going to go there. So I'm just gonna do those three things. Then I'm going to cut. And I'm gonna cut where these Um, where I where I'd gone in, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut all of that. Then I'm going to unpin it, and I'm gonna carefully take the paper off because I don't want to lose where those darts are. going to carefully do that. Then I am going to, I'm gonna, I want to leave the darts with the front of the mask and the batting. So I'm also going to cut this in between my two layers of material. You can mark this any way that you want. This is just one way to do it. Okay, so that way I have the markings here and I have the markings here. I'm also with the front of the mask and the batting, I'm just gonna pin it here on the edges so that it just stabilizes it. On your pattern, there are three different places for buttonholes. And so the next thing that you need to do while this is still flattened before you've done the darts is you need to mark your buttonholes and then, as you can see, sew your buttonholes. The other thing that you need to do is you need to cut off the material um, where it says to cut it off. And this is just on one of them. This is just the one that is inside. So you're gonna cut that material off. Then you are going to fold it over a quarter of inch and iron it and fold it over another quarter of inch and sew it. You're also going to take this little section and you're going to sew, do the same thing with it. So you're going to fold it over twice, a quarter of inch on this and also on this, this side. So at this point, you'll have the buttonholes done. You'll have these things sewn. Okay, so once you've got the buttonholes sewn, you've got um, these sewed, 
Then you're going to put this on and you're going to sew the edges of this, just barely, the edges of it. So that'll give you a whole piece. The reason for this is that there needs to be a pocket so that the first responders in the hospital will be able to put filters in this and they'll be able to take them out, be able to wash it several times. So they'll be able to use this several times and just have to put the filters in and that can be taken out. The example is, I'm gonna put this here. I will pin it just here. Then I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine and I'm just gonna sew the edge, maybe, you know, not quite a quarter of an inch, just so that it stabilizes it um, and so that it forms the pattern. Okay, so that, that way, when I take that out, you've got this opening. So the outside of the mask, now I'm going to find the tip of my darts. I'm going to put them together and I'm gonna just sew the darts. Okay, so this is the outside of the mask. Same thing with this. You're going to make the darts. Just make sure that the outside, the pocket goes like this. So I'm gonna sew the darts on this side. do is we're going to sew a quarter inch all the way around um, and what's in, this is very important the darts up by the nose need to go away from the buttonhole you need to sew them away from the buttonhole After I've done the nose part and make sure that those darts are away, then I'm going to put in the elastic. It's going to go up towards the nose, right to fit right up against that um, seam that I just sewed, that quarter inch seam that I just sewed. And we're going to just go across it, but we are going to reinforce it a few times. Then we're going to come down to about, about maybe six eighths. Just put a little thing in there and I'm gonna leave an opening and go down to the very bottom and sew a quarter, eight, a quarter inch. The reason for the opening is that's where the elastic is gonna go in some casing that we're going to make. Now we're gonna to come to two more darts down at the chin. These darts, one needs to face the buttonhole and the other one needs to face the buttonhole. The reason why the darts um, need to go this up at the nose part and also here is because we're gonna form a casing and it's a lot easier to get the wire that needs to be um, put in for the nose and also the elastic to be put in if those are facing a different area. Okay, so I'm also leaving this area. It's more, a little more than a quarter inch because we're gonna have quarter inch elastic. So I'm leaving that area. I'm just gonna sew just a little tiny bit and then I'm gonna go on with the rest of the quarter inch. Okay, now 
that I've got a quarter inch sewed. I've got my elastic sewn on both sides um, up where the nose is. Now I can just turn it. I got my little hole here and a little hole here where I didn't sew. That'll be for the elastic once we've made the casing. Now, to sew the casing, I'm gonna go about um, maybe five eighths from um, the top. Okay, so we're gonna sew the casing now. Um, up on the nose casing, I'm gonna start right on that buttonhole. I'm going to sew all the way to a place that I've marked. The marking is on here. That's where you end your casing. This is going to be for wire so that it fits very tight against their noses. So I'm just going to take this Just gonna follow it. Once I get to that spot, I am going to sew all the way up so that the wire can have a, a stopping place. So I've got that casing sewn. This is for the wire. Then I need some casing down here for the rest of the elastic to go through. So I'm going to start about five eighths again. I'm gonna go right under those buttonholes. So I've got casing all the way around there. Once I've got the casing, then I just pin the end of the elastic and stick it in that hole that I've already formed. Work it through. Right there is why you try and get those darts to go towards the buttonhole so that you don't have to, to work them too hard. So that is, that's what you're gonna do. Okay, so once I've gotten both of those through, then you've got your mask. There's a wire that will be put in it. And then once you've done that, just tie the very ends together. like that. They can put it on their face. Oh. Tighten it. Everything will fit snug and tight. So anybody that would like to do that, this, please, if you have any questions, called Canyonlands Quilting. Um, you can get a hold of me and we are going to have, we hope that you have enough material, maybe scraps and things like that, that you can use. But if you don't, then we have sheets that can be used. We have elastic if you don't have the quarter inch elastic um, and batting, batting. If, you need, if you need batting. But we're hoping that a lot of you can just donate. Um, at this point in our community, we need about 350 of them. So if you have any questions, just call Canyonlands Quilts.
Thanks.